Hello everyone, my name is Chen Lin Li. Today I'm going to present our work Meta HAR, Federated Representation Learning for Human Activity Recognition. Nowadays, with the popularity of smart devices, people usually carry their smartphones or smartwatches while performing various activities such as walking and even running. Sensor-based human activity recognition is a problem of recognizing human activity types based on sensor data from the smart devices, playing an important role in ubiquitous and privacy of computing. The HAR problem is a typical classification problem following the common routine of machine learning. The readings from the sensor such as gyroscope and accelerometer are processed and fit into a classifier to identify the current activity type the user is not performing. Most existing solutions learn the classification model centrally with collected data from mobile users. However, such a paradigm has two major disadvantages. First, labeled samples may contain private user information and may cause privacy concerns according to data regulatory constraints that arise along with the widespread practice of data science, such as GDPR. Second, we can only get a single classification model on the cloud side, which is inconvenient for mobile users. Thanks to the rapid advancement of computational and storage capability on mobile devices, federated learning has emerged as an alternative distributed learning framework which aims to train machine learning models based on decentralized data scattered on mobile devices without collecting them. In federated learning, we first initialize a model on the federated learning server, and each mobile client has a local data set. In each federated learning round, the clients first download the current model from the server, then train the model on their local data sets. After several rounds of training, the updated models are collected on the server where model aggregation is performed to get the updated global model. These steps are iteratively performed until the global model converges. However, directly applying federated learning to HAR can be problematic. The first problem is the heterogeneous enable distribution which is also known as the non-ID data distribution in the federated learning field, refers to the problem that the local dataset has different distributions in sample labels. For example, different clients have different activity types. Furthermore, the proportions of the same activity types is also different from client to client. Previous work has shown that the heterogeneous enable distribution can cause substantial performance degradation up to 50% on image classification tasks reported in the paper, federated learning with non-ID data. Apart from this, we also discover a new type of statistic challenge while implementing federated learning for HAR, which we refer to as heterogeneous in single distribution. Specifically, the single distribution for the same type of activity can also be very different from client to client. Uh, this makes sense. For example, two persons might have complete different working patterns, one with large stride lengths, while the other with a high frequency and yet smaller step size. To demonstrate the influence of the heterogeneous in single distribution, we compared three methods on the HHAR dataset, which is a public dataset that we will introduce later. The three methods are the central method, where all the data are collected on the server and the HAR model are trained centrally, and the federated average user, where user keeps their own local dataset and we apply the federated average algorithm to the global HAR model. The third method is a federated average shuffle in which we shuffle all the data among users to eliminate the heterogeneity in single distribution and the federated average is then applied to the global model. 
Note that the only difference between the two Ferretti learning schemes is that the Ferretti average user has heterogeneity in singular distribution across different users. As shown in the figure, without heterogeneity in label and singular distribution, the Ferretti average is able to approximate the centrally learned model. However, when heterogeneity in singular distribution exists, we get a substantial performance degradation in prediction accuracy from over 97% to less than 8%. Furthermore, apart from the statistical challenges, applying federated learning in real-world application is also not easy and requires a lot of hard work. For example, to learn a global model that can be used for all the clients, we need to know the global activity set where all the possible activity types are included. This determines the output size of the classifier. Also, we need to make sure that labels is consistent across users. For example, on local data sets of different users, we need to make sure that the first class always represent working to overcome the formation of statistical challenges and also get rid of the tedious labeling work when applying federated learning for HAR, we propose the so-called meta-HAR framework. In meta-HAR, the classifier is composed of two parts, the embedding network, which embeds the input single into a real value vector representation, and the output layer, which predicts the target activity type according to the embedding. Instead of learning a global classification network for all activity types, we first learn a common deep representation model parameterized by theta through a federated model agnostic meta-learning framework across all users. Then the learned representation is fed into an output layer separated, learned, and each individual user to conform to its own activity set and output dimension. Specifically, in the meta-training phase of the embedding network, each client only pushes the parameters of the updated embedding network, which is theta, to the server and then pulls the aggregated embedding network from the server for the next round of training. For a new client, or meta test user, which does not participate in the training process, it only pulls the current embedding network as an initialization of the local classification model. In the local training of the embedding network, to introduce robustness in the process of single and label heterogeneity, the global embedding network is not learned by supervised classification tasks, but is meta trained by pairwise comparison tasks which compare whether two segments of singles belongs to the same type of activities or not. That is, for any two input samples, we first get the embedding through the embedding network and then calculate the cosine similarity of these two embedding vectors. If the two samples are from the same activity type, we maximize their similarity, otherwise, the similarity scores is minimized. With pairwise loss, the clients are able to train the local model without being aware of the global activity set. Thus, is flexible and scalable to new activity types. Furthermore, pairwise loss encourages the clustering of sample embeddings in a real space, bootstrapping the training set and makes the embedding network more robust to heterogeneous inputs, well clustered embeddings can also make the subsequent classification task much easier. Finally, to handle the activity recognition problem on user side, we introduce a personalized output layer parameterized by W, which together with the embedding network theta forms a classification model. Here, the meta learned global embedding network serves as an initialization of the embedding network to be used on the user side. A two-step fine-tuning strategy is proposed to adapt the global embedding network into a personalized local classification model for every user. First, we fine-tune the embedding network with a pairwise loss 
Then the user specific output layer together with the embedding network are fine tuned using the classification task with the cross entropy loss. By leveraging a user specific output layer, we have simplified the local classification by reducing its expected number of output categories in contrast to the global activity recognition problem for all users. On the other hand, as the embedding network is collaboratively learned across all users on abandoned user data and on all activity types, local classifier built on top of the embedding network are capable of dealing with activities that have hardly seen by the user before. We conduct experiments on three datasets to demonstrate the effectiveness of our proposed method. HHAR and the USCHAD are two widely used public datasets, each with around 10 users, and the six types of activities among them are selected in this paper. We also collected our own dataset for 48 users and also six types of activities. All datasets are now publicly available through the given links. For each user, we split its local dataset into training and testing. And on HHAR and the USCHAD dataset, we randomly select one user as meta test user and the train our model on the rest of the users. On the mixed dataset, two meta test users are selected from HHAR and the USC dataset, respectively. And on the large collected dataset, five users are randomly sampled as meta test users. Three existing baseline methods are compared in our work. The central method, which we have introduced before, and the federated averaging is a well known and widely used federated learning algorithm, which averaging the locally updated model for model aggregation. Federated reptile is proposed by Yi Han in 2019, which adds a fine tune step on top of the federated averaging to get personalized model. The results on the two public and our collected data set are shown in this table. We can see on MetaTrain users, there is a clear performance degradation from the central model to the federated average method, while federated reptile and our MetaHR can still achieve a performance close to the model which has been trained centrally. On MetaTest users, uh, which does not participate in the meta learning process, our method is able to outperform all baselines and including the models that has been trained centrally or the personalized model given by federated reptile. On the mixed dataset, where there is more heterogeneity in both neighbor and single distribution, our method is able to outperform federated averaging and also the personalized model given by federated reptile by a much larger margin. To show the effectiveness of the pairwise loss, we propose a wiring meta HRCE, where CE stands for cross entropy. In meta HRCE, cross entropy is used to replace the pairwise loss in the learning process of embedding network. We can see the wiring with cross entropy achieves slightly better accuracy than meta HR on meta train users, which makes sense. Because in the meta training process of meta HRCE, all the parameters of the local classifier are already well trained on meta training users. The higher performance achieved by meta HR over the variance on the meta test users demonstrate the superior generalization ability of meta HR achieved by pairwise loss. For more detailed experimental results, please refer to our full paper. In conclusion, our meta HR framework is suitable for all the federated learning scenario where the heterogeneity in both neighbor and single distribution exists and a personalized model is preferred. Future work can be focused on applying this framework to other popular federated learning tasks. Also, in real world application of federated learning, the communication and computational constraints of mobile devices should also be taken into account. 
Thank you for watching.